Hello, my name is James. I'm a portrait photographer from Portsmouth in the UK. You've probably not heard of me and I welcome you to this, the latest video on the Portrait of Wrestler YouTube channel. And we look at awards today, uh, awards within uh, photographic societies and bodies and institutes and things like that. Uh, there's a whole plethora of them here in the UK and certainly internationally that you can get involved with. And people enter awards uh, for a number of reasons, for promotion, for uh, gratification, uh, for achievement, to show development. Uh, recently, last June, I entered a monthly competition with the societies. As one of the membership benefits is that they run monthly competitions, and it's certainly something good to get involved with if you're looking to start your pathway and your journey towards winning awards within photography. Um, and I entered, uh, I haven't entered in awards in ages, and I had this image of um, James Castle that I've been sitting on for a while, and I just kind of thought, well, we'll just put it in there and see what happened. And I was very fortunate that it got awarded uh, a highly commended. And I just want to talk to you through why this image is special for me. It's special, really, for two reasons. Um, firstly, because of the journey that James has been on himself uh, over recent months and I really really wanted to showcase him to showcase his character um, and, and the person that I know he is from, from coming through sort of seriously tough times um, but secondly it's it's because of a change in in work ethic that I sort of put in place a few years back I was fortunate enough to meet the photographer Clive Arrowsmith who's a fashion and portrait uh, photographer he's, he's photographed everyone from Paul McCartney to the Dalai Lama uh, and he's, he's just a wonderful wonderful photographer and I had the opportunity to meet him at a photographic convention where he was giving a talk and also signing copies of his book. As I nervously took my book up with him to sort of get it signed, I, I sort of chatted with him and he, he asked me what I did and I said, oh, I take pictures of professional wrestlers. Um, and he said, oh, God, I'd love to see those. And I kind of had this sort of moment where I was like, okay, like you can either take your chance here <laughs> and show something off or you can just sort of wither away <laughs> and just say, oh, that was another opportunity missed. And I just sort of saw it as an opportunity really to sort of show my work to someone who I greatly admired within the industry to hopefully get some sort of feedback so I, I took my chance and said oh if, if, if you would I've got I've got a book of them here and at the time and I still do I always carry around sort of like a print, printed copy um, of, of my works it's much more tangible than sort of showing pictures images of a phone or sharing an Instagram account with someone um, so I sort of hastily got my bag and, and, and shuffled a copy of my book in front of him and he took the time to go through it and give me a critique and, and, and to give me some feedback as to how I can develop myself further. Um, and it was really, really rewarding. It was a case of, he, 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 I remember what he said, he said that, he said, I can obviously tell that you can take a, you can take a portrait, you're a portrait photographer, you can do that, but you're staying well within the comfort zone. And what you need to do is work with these models, work with these wrestlers to get something different, to take the portrait in a different place. And it was a piece of feedback that I kept sort of close to me and promised myself that I would work on. And the example he gave was he said, I want you to take a, a picture of a big muscly wrestler full of tattoos, big beard and all that, and just have him out eating a big bowl of spaghetti or something like that. Just something a bit abstract, a little bit weird, just to take you out of the realm of like, the standard wrestling portrait. And James was one of the first people that came to my mind because I thought with the, with the punk mohawk and the tattoos and the, the big piercings and all of that kind of stuff, would it be cool if he was doing something brilliantly English, um, like drinking a little sort of cup of tea and with a little saucer? And, um, and, uh, and I always had him in mind for this shot because having interacted with James on a personal level, um, I know that he's you know a, a thoroughly intelligent man, um, someone who's really really pleasurable to spend time in the company of and someone you can have like really really long discussions about quite deep topics really and I wanted to really try and reflect that from him so that so the initial reaction of seeing a guy like James on the street is like oh my god is a punk but actually when you get to know the guy you know there's a much deeper side to him much more sensitive side to him and I felt maybe sharing a cup of tea with him would would, would represent that so I took this picture a couple of years ago and just sort of sat on it for a little bit and, and almost forgot about it. It was there really and just I was sort of clearing out the hard drives. Um, we uh, we put it forward for the competition and, and fortunate enough for it to get highly commended, which I which I wanted to shout about a little bit just for just for the sake of any photographer out there who is feeling a bit stuck or, or feeling that they're in a bit of a creative rut or doesn't know where to go. Try and take that jump to get out of your comfort zone. Try and think about things a little bit differently but also to showcase James and uh, and showcase the character that he is and the strength that he exudes really as a person. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. You can follow me on the Instagram and the Twitter. It's at Y2GMBob. We should have some big news coming soon with regards to future projects and what we are going to be doing uh, post Rona. And we hope to share that with you soon. Uh, but as ever, if you like, give us a follow on the Instagram and the Twitter at Y2GMBob. It's Portrait of a Wrestler everywhere else. And as ever, all the very best. <laughs>